Okay, I'm going to show you a view of the Pronto uh, exam. Now, in your, in your ICC account, uh, it's a little hard to get to, but you can actually do what they have here, a Pronto SI Special Inspection Plans Exercise, okay? And these are the two types. Pronto is from your home. CBT is still at Pearson View Computer-Based Testing at a Pearson View Testing Center. And the interfaces are a bit different, okay? The Pronto, I'm going to show you what that looks like. Uh, most of you have seen what computer-based testing looks like at Pearson View already because that's been around. And uh, our what we currently have on our website, SICerts.com, is we have a, a, a navigation that's very similar to this, okay? Pronto, it's a little bit different, and I'm going to show you. And the big difference is the magnifying glass. They, they have a magnifying glass. So what I did is, this is free, okay? You can do this yourself and, and take a look. You can see it. Um, I bought two of them, but they're free, okay? So I just clicked Take Exam, and I got to the screen and uh, went through the process of, of, of doing it. And here is the exam, okay? I'm going to close this. So when you start the exam, they start you in, you know, question one, uh, but, but they're just giving you info about Pronto and using each question screen to do that. And by the time you get all the way over uh, here, we can look at system requirements real quick. So, where is it? Where is it? Okay, so you need a webcam, you need speakers, you need a microphone, because you're gonna be talking back and forth, and the proctor who's watching you take the test wants to see you and hear you. Uh, and you need to have, obviously, stable internet connection, PC and Mac, Mac is supported, that's what we use here. And the two recommended browsers, uh, Chrome, I don't know what good Chrome is, but, uh, and then, my, and then uh, Firefox, okay? So here's a great example. Here's a question you're gonna get. They're gonna ask you a question like this, okay? You're gonna have your an answer selections. I, I didn't actually try to find this out, but you're gonna be able to click on this image and then it enlarges, okay? Now, when you put the mouse on the plans, it makes you open up this magnifying glass, okay? Now, to me, this is like trying to breathe underwater through a straw, okay? This is very, very uncomfortable uh, for me to do. It, it, it's just like, it doesn't really help because it distort, you know, the magnifying glass is so big and it's such a footprint over the plans themselves, it kind of, uh, takes away from the context beneath it, in my opinion, right? So that's the real big challenge in, in, you know, when you try to use this magnifying glass. This is really crazy. Okay, so what you can do, let's run back to this screen here. Shortcuts, okay? I highly recommend using, where was that? The shortcuts that they have here. And, sorry, I must, okay. So if you're in a PC, control plus or, plus or minus, okay, to zoom in and out. Uh, and then Mac is command, and it would be, well, I guess it is the, well, the plus is and the equal are on the same key. That's how you zoom in. And then the minus, there's a minus and a dash key next to it on the Mac, and that's how you zoom out. So we're going to use that. I'm going to show you that, okay? Okay. Um, so if I want to if I want to zoom in, I'm gonna I'm on Mac, so I'm doing Command Plus, and it doesn't natively. Obviously, it doesn't zoom in the plans themselves. It's making everything on in your browser bigger. It's like pe you know people who need to see bigger fonts on their phone and bigger fonts on the computer. That's what it's doing. Okay, and I think it's better, in my opinion, to just enlarge it and keep the mouse off the just try to keep it off this thing. And now it doesn't even line up. How ridiculous is that? So that, that's that's one of the problems here. This is not this is not a this is not super uh, worked out, okay? So but at least, you know, and you can drag it around by holding this plus. But if I enlarge it like that and not use the magnifying glass, then I could at least see the context of the entire screen. Now, I'm also looking at a 32-inch monitor, which is pretty big. Most people, you know, probably 27 is, or 24 is more average. And I think you can still see it, but having the extra real estate will help some as well. 
uh, and a little bit extra pixels as well. Uh, okay, so yeah, if I could just stay off this thing, but you know, I so I can now see the context of the whole page. This is almost this this page is like almost filling up my whole screen too, but at least I can see it right and not use the the magnifying glass. Okay, and I'm not using a mouse. I'm actually using a trackpad. So uh, I don't think a mouse, the wheel, will move this up and down. It would, I wish it would, right? But I have to kind of, you know, so now I'm kind of limited on the bottom because I, I'm at the top of the screen and I can't really see that bottom detail. So I probably have to zoom out to see it. Okay, so I zoomed out one. Now I can see the bottom of the page. But this is actually comfortable for me, okay? As long as I keep this mouse and this magnifying glass off the freaking screen, I can see, you know, I can see what I'm looking at. And this is what you're going to want to do, in my opinion, you know, and, unless you really like this magnifying glass, just try to just try not to use it and try to use the command or the control zoom in and out to really, uh, you know, deal with this new interface now. Now, the nice thing about our program is we still give you the digital plans view on the entire screen and we give you a way to uh, zoom in and zoom out as well and it's not uh, you, you can still use obviously you can enlarge the browser just like you're doing here with ours but you can also um, we have a zoom f function on the question screen that is very similar very similar to the Pearson view so you can use our program to get, really get ready for both of these tests but this is what I would suggest to do uh, and, and let's go to a question here that has multiple images and you can see how to deal with that okay so okay 25 so they have two different pages okay so it's it's gonna be the same thing the same exact thing as what we just talked about right but you're gonna if you want to see the second one you just gotta move to the side and then click it and then you can see it right and even with all these words, I still would try to ignore that magnifying glass. I would try to never use that. So just get the page where you can see it. And you're going to be doing this a lot, shifting it around a little bit. You know, you're going to be wanting to get to the bottom of the page to see that. Um, and as long as you can see the bottom. But this, I can read this. It's not even full screen. And I can comfortably read the text here and skim throughout you know, to find any answers. I, I, you don't want to use the mouse. Let me pull that off, oops. But, you know, I'm, I'm using my finger. You can't see that, but I'm kind of touching the screen and now I'm, you know, I, I can kind of uh, see what I'm doing a bit better than that. So I would, I would definitely recommend, uh, if you're gonna do Pronto, man, I would recommend that you have a, an external monitor. I would not want to be doing Pronto on a laptop, like even a 15 inch, okay? I would not want to do that. Uh, I think it's going to be a very frustrating experience because of the magnifying glass that they automatically pop up on the screen. Uh, unless you like this, you know. And I would recommend doing, if you're going to do Pronto, I would recommend doing it um, on a 24-inch monitor or larger. I think that's going to be the best user experience for the plans. Now, the code is going to be different. Obviously, the code is just the code. But when you're looking at imagery like this and detailed plans and pages, you really want to you really want to have a bigger monitor. So that's that's our recommendation from SI Certs. Okay, uh, we want you to uh, you know we want it to really work for you and it to be a good testing experience and you to have the best advantage you can right when you go into something like this. So if you're going to take it from home, make sure you have a big monitor. If you don't have that, if you just have a laptop, I would not do that. I would try to get another monitor go to somebody's house or you know fi figure out a way to do it and uh, or just get into the testing center and take the plans there uh, the Pearson View Testing Center. All right, thanks guys.